Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. There are a few tastier automotive dishes than America's premier pony car, the Ford Mustang. The recipe of rear-wheel drive and a big throaty V8 is absolutely intoxicating. So what happens when you stir in a few more horses and perhaps a dollop of extra handling? Well, you get a car like this one, the Kenny Brown 289 RS Cobra. Now, Mr. Brown has been cooking with Dearborn's favorite thoroughbred for 11 years. And from the looks of his latest work, this master automotive chef has the recipe just right. Of course, as any good cook knows, a recipe is only as good as its ingredients, and Chef Brown has assembled a pot full of the best. His stock for the 289 RS is a hardy, full-bodied Ford Mustang Cobra, the top of Ford's pony car line, but one that has already received the full Kenny Brown Cobra S treatment, which features a supercharger for the Ford V8, race-quality suspension, strengthened chassis, and high-performance wheels and tires. Ladled on top is Kenny's new 289 RS package, the heart of which is this slightly punched out supercharged Ford 4.7 V8 that now displaces, you guessed it, 289 cubic inches. In addition to a blower and eight big Wiseco racing pistons, the engine is balanced and blueprinted, gets new rings and bearings, an improved lubrication system, and ceramic coated exhaust headers, and makes a spicy 413 genuine rear wheel horsepower. 358 pound-feet of torque, which launches it to 60 miles per hour in only 4.4 seconds, or almost a full second faster than stock. And we topped 137 on the front straight at Roebling Roads Raceway, so this puppy is fast. And we don't mean just in a straight line. The 289 package also includes Kenny's Level 4 suspension upgrade. This entails a complete rebuild of the underpinnings, with new springs, coney shocks and struts, altered rear geometry with a panhard rod, and new front pickup points, all supported by 17-inch forge line alloy wheels, wearing extra-wide Firestone tires. It gives Ford's venerable Fox chassis the feel of a purpose-built race car, especially up front, where the Mustang Cobra's sometimes vague feedback is replaced with a more solidly planted feel, though the stock steering still needs a little work. And at the rear, where the 289's prodigious torque will still light up the rear tires in third gear corners. This is a car that demands respect. The massive power output and extraordinary level of grip require a high level of both skill and commitment. Braking, however, just needs a gentle push, and the massive Brembo disc and calibers yank the 289 down from triple digit speeds with eye-popping force. Now normally cars with this much pure trackability are all but undrivable on the street, but the Kenny Brown 289 surprised us with ride quality almost equal to that of the stock Mustang Cobra. Accommodations were also up to par, with the interior retaining all of the standard car's efficiency and features. But adding lots of slick carbon trim on the dash and doors, a serial number plaque, and if desired, available Recaro racing seats. The entire 289 RS Cobra package is available through participating Ford dealers, or you can ship your current car to Kinney's Indianapolis, Indiana workshop for the conversion. If you buy the complete car, the price starts with a 1998 Ford Mustang Cobra for $27,195. The required Cobra S package adds another $15,750, while the full 289 RS treatment is about $17,000 on top of that for a total bill of approximately $60,000 depending on options. Too much for the average working hot rodder, but less than a well-heeled Ford fan would pay for many foreign exotics that can't beat the 289's performance. The Kenny Brown 289 RS Cobra is a special dish for the discriminating automotive gourmet. It's a recipe that's been simmering on Kenny Brown's stove for a long time, and it's finally done. But be warned, it's a hot one.